My name is Andy Bystrom, and this is a video that will be part of the No Tuna Farms campaign in the Golfo Dulce in Costa Rica. I left San Jose yesterday, took the excruciating long bus ride down to Golfito, and then I took the second bus to the ferry, and then the third bus out here to Punta Banco. Got in about 12 hours after I started. And now today I'm walking out to the proposed site of a tuna farm project which looks to put anywhere starting from 10 and then building up to 80 steel cages that'll be stocked full of juvenile tuna. Then they'll be fattened up with frozen sardines that are imported. And then those tuna that will then be sold to the Japanese sushi market. It's pretty obvious that this part of Costa Rica depends on ecotourism, on small scale artisan fishing, and a project, a type of aquaculture project of this nature would be extremely detrimental to the area's natural resources. It's not easy to get to the uh, to the project. It's it's going to take me all day walking down the beach, which is a beautiful beach. Um, there's absolutely nothing out here, and that's the way it should be kept here at the edge of paradise. The No Tuna Farms campaign is working with the community. They're forming an association to then hopefully in about 10 months have a referendum or a public vote with the entire district here where the public will get a chance to voice their opinion against the project and hopefully that will shut it down forever. pasar si si logran poner granjas atuneras ahí en la boca de, de este golfo ya, llega con respeto que... a las tortugas ah bueno ya y el turismo se nos va se nos va el turismo ya no hay no habría turismo para digamos, para el trabajo aquí de todo el mundo y el surf que le gusta a la gente y todo ya, y lo afecta a nosotros con las tortugas también y ¿Cómo? Bueno, no habría nada para pescar ni nada algo así como va a afectar la, las tortugas esas, esas granjas ya, y por el sistema de algo así como la maleza que de botan se moriría todo lo que está dentro del mar como las no sé las la comida que hay cerca de para tortugas ya no existirían ya las tortugas no, no, no vendrían así por aquí venían a otras playas y ya se morirían las que vienen por acá porque ya no las matan y todo el problema también de los barcos como los que estamos iguales con las redes y ahí, ahí sería un kidding me? Look at this, man. This is stuff you see on the Travel Channel. This is crazy. That's coming straight out of the mountain. Right down onto the beach. Out there in the distance, that cliff face, which you can only get around at low tide, eh, on the other side of that is where they want to put the tuna farms. Look at all those color changes out there in the water. Those are just different water depths and all those different depths represent different currents running through and the currents are the real problem because we know that tuna farms produce an incredible amount of of waste, all the crap from the fish if those currents sweep all that junk into the into the Golfo Dulce, which begins right here, there's the mouth. You can see the other side of it. If those currents sweep all the junk into the Golfo Dulce, then there it will remain.
because of its geography. And that's not good for the local economy. All right, I've attempted to create a visual aid of the southern Pacific coast of Costa Rica. This is, of course, the Peninsula de Osa. The O. All right. This is the Golfo Dulce. Golfo Dulce. This tip right here, oops, this tip right here is what you can see in the very, very distance out there at the end. All right. Basically, we started off the day here at Punta Banco, right across the mouth of the Golfo Dulce. We walked around, and that tuna farm project looks to go in right here. And all the stuff from the tuna farm project, riding the currents, will make its way into the Golfo Dulce and contaminate the whole thing. So I just came around the bend, around the cliff face here, and so this is the stretch of beach. And supposedly just a kilometer offshore would be where the Archangel, Mr. Tuna Farm, wants to put all of his cages. But check it out, basically, I mean, it, this is all Indian Reservation from the beach up. And there are indigenous Waimi who depend on this stretch of beach for food. And a contamination plant, i.e. tuna farm, right off the coast would really mess that up now, wouldn't it? Get hit by a big rainstorm. Well, almost back. That's the tail of the day.